Two documents show an alleged drunk driver accused of hitting a golf cart and killing a bride was over three times the legal alcohol limit. Jamie Komorowski was arrested after that deadly accident that happened nearly two weeks ago now. And now we are learning more about the investigation. News 2's Kevon Dupree joins us in the studio. Kevon, that accident left the bride dead and several others seriously injured, including her husband. What is the latest from this investigation? Aaron Carolyn, the toxicology report provided by the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division shows that Komorowski had a blood alcohol level of 0.261, which is more than three times the legal limit on the night of April 28th when that accident occurred. Now, police officials tell us that level of intoxication is enough for anyone to fail all three sobriety tests. Reports show that Komorowski was driving a 2023 gray Toyota Camry, which you can see here in these newly released photos. She was allegedly driving 65 miles per hour in the 25 mile per hour zone on the 1200 block of East Ashley Avenue. Samantha Miller, the bride who was riding on the back of the cart, died as a result of the collision. Her new husband, Eric Hutchinson, was critically injured along with two other family members who were also on the cart. Hutchinson has undergone multiple surgeries since the accident and was released from the hospital earlier this week. The newly released documents state that Komorowski told police she had only two drinks, a beer and a tequila pineapple. She refused a breathalyzer test, so blood samples were taken. And Komorowski is facing several felony charges for the collision, including vehicular homicide. We have many more details on this accident, and we'll have those coming up on News 2 at 5 o'clock. Reporting in studio, I'm Kevon Dupree. Count on two.